Today, let's discuss one of the most important concepts in any programming language namely, inheritance. So what is the first thing, that came to your mind when you heard the word inheritance? You would be imagining the way, how you could get the complete ownership of all the properties, owned by your parents with the help of a will or agreement, right? Let's consider you and your father as an individual class. As discussed earlier in the real world both of you displays individual skills and behavior. These behaviors and skills can be considered as an object of the class. Refer our previous video to know more about classes and objects. If you observe, both the classes have its own methods and variables which could be accessed with the help of objects. But have we defined any relation between both the classes? No, right. Now as in the real world, where you acquire all properties through a will or contract agreement. In Java, this is achieved with the help of the keyword extends. As seen in the example, now the child class is eligible to access all the instance methods and variables of parent class. This mechanism is known as single inheritance or is a relationship. That means now our child class is having a relation with the parent class. This OOPS concept in Java is widely used both by the developers and automation testers. So, what is the advantage of inherited classes? Imagine your father owned a luxury home and a BMW car. Now the moment you inherit its properties, you don't need to reinvest your time and money to buy a brand new home or car, as you could use both of them as you inherit, true. So this is a classic example of reusability in real life where you don't need to reinvest your time and money to buy the same things again, rather you could utilize them and achieve more in life with the help these inherited properties. In Java, we could reuse the instance methods and variables defined in the parent class, in all inherited child classes throughout the projects. By this we could avoid and save time in writing duplicates codes. Moreover if we change anything in the parent class methods, this will be reflected across all inherited methods. Multilevel inheritance. We also have multilevel inheritance. Where you could even reuse the properties which your father has inherited from your grandfather. As shown in the example, you're now eligible to reuse all the properties of both your father and grandfather's class. We also have multiple inheritance which can be achieved with the help of interfaces. It can be achieved with the help of using implements keyword. There are two more important keywords that come along with inheritance. They are this and super. This helps to refer to the current class constructor, instance variables, and methods, whereas super helps to refer to parent class constructors, methods, and variables. To know more we recommend you to watch the video which we have posted earlier. Till now we discussed how an inherited child class could access parent class constructor, methods, and variables by using extend keyword. Now imagine, sometimes your father might wish to restrict giving access to some of his personal properties though he gives you a will. In Java, we could achieve the same in two ways. 1. Private access specifier. As shown in the example, once we make our parent class instance methods or variable as private, then the inherited child class will no longer be able to access such private methods or variables. Final keyword. Final keyword can be used while declaring a class, method, or even a variable as shown in the example. If a class have been prefixed with final keyword, then such classes cannot be extended or inherited. 
When the final keyword is used while declaring a method, then such methods cannot be overridden in the inherited class. So now, let's see the different types of inheritance we have in Java. We have single, multilevel, hierarchical, multiple, and hybrid inheritance. EBSCRA Zone, the corporate trainers. Subscribe our channel and enable bell icon to get notifications on videos related to software testing.